Namaste friends, teachers and my dear parents. I, Neha Khanna, welcome you all to the Pongal Special Assembly. A very happy Pongal or Sankranti to every one of you. Do you know why we celebrate this festival? This is India's harvest festival. We in India eat rice, wheat and other pulses every day. Hence, we depend on farmers to grow these plants for us. As part of our culture, we have, we have always worshipped all the natural elements as God and thanked them through our various festivals. Pongal is no different. We thank Sun God through this festival for making our crops healthy by giving us the right amount of light. In many parts of India, we also thank the cattle, especially cows, for giving us milk. Kasha Piyam Mahaditim Tamorim Sarva Papagnam Pranatosh Nidavakaram And the meaning for the shloka is Who prayed to the sun, the one who creates day, destroys all sin, the enemy of darkness, who is supremely brilliant, the descendant of Kasha Parishi, the one who shines like the prayer of hibis, flower hibis. India is a land of diverse culture. There are many harvest festivals celebrated here. The festival of Pongal is celebrated in different regions under different names with different rituals in different parts of India. As this is a harvest festival, bonfires and feasts are the main thing common to all the celebrations of Pongal Festival. My name is Ziva Singh and I will tell you ab about Lori festival that is celebrated in North India. Lori is essentially a harvest festival mostly celebrated in Punjab, Delhi, Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. Lori signifies the fertility and joy of life. People celebrated with great fun, excitement, and enthusiasm. The customs and traditions may slightly vary from one region to another, but basically all of them are attached to the harvesting of the rabbi crops. <laughs>
Talk about West India. In the West, Makkah Shankarandi was different kind of historical importance, and some build bonfire, some make sweets, some go to the Ganges, and some feed the cattle. It also marks the entire termination of the winter season and beginnings of a new harvest season from the day of journey. Therefore, this festival is also known as Uttarayan. Festival is celebrated with a lot of joy. In Rajasthan, it is celebrated by the name of Makar Sankranti. There is a huge celebration with the making of special Rajasthani delicacies, dancing and getting together with family. In Maharashtra, it is usually celebrated for three days, where people exchange multicolored halwa, Puran Poli and Tilgalladu and greet each other with good wishes. Namaste everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Pongal celebration in East India. In West Bengal, Sankranti, also known as Paush Sankranti, is celebrated as a harvest festival, Paush Purban. The freshly harvested paddy and the date palm syrup in the form of kajular gur and patali is used in the preparation of a variety of traditional and gold sweets made with rice, flour, coconut, milk and kajular gur and known as pitha. All sections of society participate in the three days begins on the day before Sankranti and then from the day after. The goddess Lakshmi is usually worshipped on the day of Sankranti. Thank you. 